I'll be here in a little bit. Yeah, just shoot. That place is fast, say. Carolina Barbecue Company. I tell you what, I've never seen so many pretty shirts. And I tell you, as far as uh, DHEC approved uh, restaurant situation, this is like one of the best ones. They came out in the field, and I tell you what, half the restaurants in South Carolina don't look this clean. It's that's, beautiful. That's good to know. Too. <laughs> Sir, I said I was a flunky. Oh, you was a flunky. Oh, okay. I, I tell you what, me and her is the chief scrubbers. Oh, you are. <laughs> Say they're the boss, but you know what's going on, right? Uh, we, we, we know what, what the scrubbing needs to happen. <laughs> well, do you mind if I shoot you getting the Boston butt ready? Have you guys got restaurants too, or do you mostly do events? This is our. This is it. This is it. Yeah, we do do. Uh, do events. Wow, man, if you ever had a restaurant, I would just love to walk in and I know it'd be some fantastic place, man. Yeah, we'll get I'm a little bit angry about cleaning this stuff. <laughs> well, when it comes to food, I mean, that's the whole name of the game. Uh, we, uh, I put some tar paper down, down on the asphalt. I usually put down the, a blue tar everywhere we want to be. To cover the whole ground. Well, you know, it's not Oh, okay. Never trust a vegetarian. What size do you wear? 2X? Oh, oh, 2X, yeah. They're out the front, sir. Yeah, I really hate a mess. Probably have my mind. He's getting his injection ready. Well, folks, he put some apple juice in there. There's already some stuff in there, so he's got a mixture going. And, uh, you know, that's one thing I was trying to do on my own personal video was uh, uh, mix your rub in your injection. And then uh, you've got the little inside the meat as well as on the outside. And uh, I feel a little vinegated because a, a real barbecue guy did it, did it that way. Well, it makes sense to get the flavor all the way through. I mean, a lot of guys mix, make up an injection that's a whole different flavor than what's on the outside, and I don't, I don't understand that. Yeah, then you're mixing uh, contrasting flavors on the inside and the outside. Unless you got them working together, that, that's a big thing, like a waste of time. Okay, friends. Now he's leaving the plastic on, and you know what? None of it's going to leak out and, and fly all over the room. That's some big information. I told you I was angling about a minute. Man, I tell you, man. <laughs> this thing. Carolina Barbecue Company, right? Yes, sir. And what's your name? Dale Duckworth. Dale Duckworth. You know, just looking at his place, you guys need to put him on Food Network, man. He'll get barbecue in a whole new vein of, of technology. So you're talking about the trailer being clean. This is my favorite part right here. I don't know if you saw it or not. Uh huh. Oh my goodness, he's got a big walk-in freezer and look at how whoa! Now I know some of you country boys out there trying to figure out how to do it. This man right here is showing us. I have never seen anything. <laughs> wow man. So like you built that wall there and got the refrigeration hooked to it. And yeah, I built it all myself. Oh, you built it all yourself? Yeah, I found the uh, unit. I had the trailer built with a room for its refrigeration. And I found the unit, put it in ourselves to make it a walk in. Really is the, that's my favorite part of this whole trailer. Makes life a lot easier. Friends, it's about 11.30. No, this is after 12 now on Friday. I assume that most of the companies around here probably still are doing business, but the plates are starting to flow and the people are starting to flow in here. And 
Man, what do you think tomorrow? This place is going to be so packed full of people, it's just going to be... It usually is. We usually do it pretty well. We do usually sell about... Cook, about uncooked meat, we usually do about a thousand pounds here. And we do 24 cases of ribs, plus brisket, chicken, and... Now, friends, one thing I want to stress right here is that is not just orange juice and apple juice. That man has got one heck of a uh, injection going there. He has some technology going, and uh, so you're going to have to try to figure out what your own injection is. But I can tell it's fairly thick, and then the plastic, it's just going to hold it all right there, right in there against the meat. Uh, you can see on the very edge of the plastic here that it actually is bubbling a little bit when he injects. Let's see if I can get that on the next injection. Uh, yeah, it bubbled. So, I mean, it's, it's like flowing completely around and compartmented. So, a minute ago, we had a girl say that she'll cook her ribs for an hour and a half and then apply the rub. And then uh, now we've got him injected with the plastic on and it all just makes perfect sense. Yeah, it keeps the mess way down. I don't do my briskets that way because I trim them too much. I don't do a lot of trimming on the butts, I just pretty much. You got what you see, what you get on those. You know, when it comes to barbecue, man, there's nothing like Boston Bus. They're just, that's like the heart and soul of it, isn't it? I think it is. You know, a lot of people talk whole hog, a lot of people talk shoulders. Uh, for us, the competition, everybody uses butts. But for selling, you get the most yield out of it, you get the most return. That's the whole thing. You know, for a restaurateur or caterer, you're looking for the, the impact for the dollar. I mean, you just can't get it. Uh, uh, Oh, now here comes my old friend. He's fixing to put some Lowry's on here, y'all. Man, that's some good stuff. Can't beat it. <laughs> Johnny Trigg was on the uh, radio show, and he said that's all he used when he first started cooking uh, in the competitions. Let that set a while now. Okay, yeah, try and pull some of them flavors in. And All right. Uh, where's, your, where's your main cooker at? Is it? I got an FE back here for competition. We use that Southern Pride out there for real. Okay. If it's all right, I'll just shoot your uh, server line a little bit, and then that'll be it. You get my back to you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at there. Oh my goodness, what a plate. I want you to look at that. Now, how much does that plate go for? Uh, four, or that's right, dinner is 14. Wow, that's a lot of meat for $14. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Same thing, Mary. Oh. Hey, so I need some more ribs. Where are you going to these more ribs? One second, Mary, I got you. Uh, Carolina barbecue. Okay, man, we 11 o'clock, 11:30 something. They done got the place laying down on it. <laughs> we eat early every day. <laughs> I heard that. Got a lot of work to go, don't it? We get to rush out. <laughs> we don't want pigs to die in vain. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all excited about the festival this weekend? We always try to come. Oh, do you? Yep. Man, look at that. That's a lot of ribs in there. Hey, how much does one of them things cost like that? Uh, that's, a whole, that's a whole rack. That's, that's a half a rack. Half a rack? Yep. Seven. Seven dollars? That's a lot of food. All right, thanks a lot, fellas. Thank Hope you all have a good time.